guys, what is up? It's Ruthie. Welcome back to my channel. In case you don't already know who I am, I'm Ruthie. I'm 17 years old and I really like doing makeup. Today we're going to be doing a full face of makeup that I've never tried before at all. I am totally one who is guilty of using the same products over and over again. I definitely have my comfort zone of makeup products I use. With my looks, I may go really out of my comfort zone, but with the products I use, I definitely use like the same ones over and over again because I'm just super comfortable with them and I know they work for me which has its pros and cons uh, there could be so many products out there that are amazing but I wouldn't know because I'm really bad at trying new ones so I think this will be really good for me and hopefully I'm gonna find some really good new products most of these products are gifted to me however this isn't sponsored at all brands usually gift me their products just to like review them so I will be rating these products with my 100% honest review I'm gonna rate them on a scale of 1 to 10 so before we get started make sure to go leave a like on this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already but yeah without further ado let's just get started all right so I have this big box of makeup products I have not used before I just kind of picked out the ones I think that I would use I have so much makeup that I haven't used I don't know why I just haven't gotten a chance to try it. So first of all, we're gonna start off with prepping my base. To prep my base, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Strawberry Papaya Face Milk. First, we're just gonna like smell it. I don't know how I feel about products with like heavy fragrance in it because I feel like that just adds a lot of chemicals. Strong fragrance kind of does bother me a little bit, but I feel like it's a little bit strong. I, I like it. It feels moisturizing. Obviously, if it impacts my skin or makes me break out, I wouldn't know right now. But I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10 just because the fragrance does kind of bother me just a little bit. So 7 out of 10 and yeah, I like it. Alright, so for primer, we're going to go in with the Essence My Skin Tinted Skin Primer. This is in the shade Light Beige. So this is the consistency. It's a little bit thick for a primer. I am so hesitant about trying new primers out all the time. So far, I like the texture of it. It definitely feels like more of a pore filling primer rather than like a hydrating one. So this is really great if you have oily skin or if you have big pores. I really like the feeling of this. As for the tinted part, I don't really know if it did anything. Um, I'm gonna say nine out of 10. The only reason I said nine out of 10, not 10 out of 10, is because I feel like the tint doesn't really do a lot. Okay, so moving along to foundation. I'm gonna be using this Benefit foundation. It is a stick foundation. I don't use a ton of stick foundation, but this is called the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation. I'm also using a beauty blender I've never tried before. I believe this beauty blender is from Elena Lashes. It's super pretty. So I'm just gonna put this on my face. It's going on really smoothly it does look like my shade this beauty blender is decent it's not amazing so i'd rate this a six out of ten okay so the foundation is on my honest feelings about it is it's a little bit too dewy for my liking i personally have oily skin and i feel like it is making me look a little bit oily all right so for the benefit stick foundation i did some research i figured out it's supposed to be light to medium coverage and a natural matte finish and i do think it is light to medium coverage for sure so i think this would be really good for everyday use so i'm gonna rate this a 7 out of 10. all right so for my concealer i'm going to be using this miura concealer so hopefully this is a good shade for me yes it is it's blending out really nicely. I'm going to rate this concealer an 8 out of 10. Okay, so for a setting powder, I'm going to be using the Essence My Skin Setting Powder. This is in the shade Light. I'm just going to dip into that with my Beauty Blender. This is how I typically set my foundation. I don't use a brush. I, that's a lot of powder. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that powder. I don't really like tinted powders that much. Personally, in my case, it made me a lot darker. I don't like the way that it's sitting on my skin. I feel like my skin looks so flat and any lightness I had from my concealer is gone and it's just all one color. Hopefully, I can bring some of that back when I contour, but I just, I really don't like how that powder set. I'm going to rate this powder a... Uh, 4 out of 10. Alright, so moving on to brows, which I'm very excited for. I have a lot of products to try out for brows. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Goof Pro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 5. I've heard a lot about this, and I'm just going to just draw out my shade. It's going on really pigmented, and it's gliding really smoothly across my brows. I'm just going to move straight into the pomade because... 
usually I don't draw on my brows. <laughs> I usually just go in straight with the pomade. I wanted to switch it up a little bit today, okay? I like the Goof Proof Brow Pencil a lot. I'd rate that a 10 out of 10. It's honestly a really good brow pencil. Now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Cup Brow. Everyone talks about this. This is like a top rated brow product and I've never tried it, so. I am liking that a lot so far. I am honestly like, I really like that. It has good coverage and it's smooth. I am going to rate this a 10 out of 10 once again. I'm going to be using the Brow Microfilling Pen. I love brow pens. I am a sucker for brow pens. This brush has like three little like prong things. It's kind of shaped like a fork. Ooh, why do I like that? This makes it sound so sponsored, but it's not. So yeah, I, I like that a lot. 10 out of 10. Once again, this makes it sound sponsored, but it's not. I just, I'm really liking the Benefit Brow products. I am very impressed. All right, so for the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer. This is kind of like the consistency. I'm just gonna like dab it on my eye. Yeah, I just don't like that it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I guess we'll see how the eyeshadow reacts to it. But so far, I'm gonna say it's like decent, probably like a 6 out of 10. I like my eyeshadow primers to have coverage in them. I would personally rather use a concealer over this just because of the coverage problem. For the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using this Profusion Cosmetics Upbeat Orange Palette. Here are the shades, very bright, very like warm tone. First, I'm gonna hop into the shade Mania, and I'm just gonna use it as a transition shade. I'm just using a normal kind of wide blending brush for this. So far, pigmentation, pretty good. Pretty good, especially for a transition shade. You can definitely tell that it's there. And it's also blending out really nicely, which I like. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade B. This is a pretty bright orange. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with the shade Rhythm, and then after that I'm going to go in with the shade Harvest and just darken everything up. I kind of wish the Perfusion shades had just a little bit more pigment. I found myself having to like tap into the palette a couple of times just to get the right amount of pigment that I wanted to, but it did build pretty well. Also, one thing that I really liked about the Perfusion palette is I really, really like the shimmery shade. I'm going to finish up my other eye really quickly here, and then I will be right back. All right, so this is the eyeshadow. I went really loose with it. Usually, I am like more uptight with the blending, but I just decided to like blend really thoroughly, if that makes sense. For liner, I'm going to be using this Benefit push-up liner. It looks like this, but the thing is, is this isn't a felt tip. Let me try to swatch it the right way. See, it makes really good lines, and it seems really opaque, but the weird thing to me is that it has, like, the texture of, like, a gel liner, but it's, like, almost formatted like a liquid liner. Whoa, that is so weird. Oh my gosh. This liner is a huge no for me. I know how to do liner. Like, it's not my strongest point in the world, but I, I know how to do a solid in good way. It was literally so hard to draw with. I even had to go in with a little bit of liquid liner because I wanted to try to make it look good. Okay, so the mascara that I'd never used disappeared. It was a benefit one. So I don't really have a mascara I haven't used before. So I'm just going to be using this Essence mascara. All right, so now onto like the contouring and the bronzing and the blushing and the highlighting and all of that good stuff, which we really need because right now my face looks like a pancake that is too dark for my skin tone. All right, so for the bronze, I'm going to be using the Hoola bronzer. I feel like everyone's tried this bronzer out, but for some reason, I have not, and I don't know how. I've heard so many good things about this bronzer, though. I just put so much on. Let's blend that out. I really do like this bronzer. It is definitely worth the hype. It's like a good balance between like too warm and too cold. A 10 out of 10. All right, so for blush, I'm going to be using the Benefit California blush. Look at how stunning it is. This is so pretty. It is not the most pigmented, which can be a good thing for blush. You don't always want blush to be super pigmented and then you look like a clown. But I do wish it was a little bit more pigmented. Part true or not? All right, so now moving along to highlighter, I'm just using Benefit Cookie Highlighter. Oh, that was that was a brush. What if it smelled like cookies? It doesn't, but that'd be cool. That's really pretty. I'm gonna rate that highlighter a 10 out of 10. I really like that highlighter, and it it worked really well for me. All right, so moving on to lip. I can't find a liquid lipstick I haven't tried yet, which is kind of a good thing because I have a lot of liquid lipstick. So at least 
those are getting put to use. So what I'm going to be using for the gloss is this Rare Beauty Gloss. Rare Beauty is Selena Gomez's brand. This one is in the shade Nearly Neutral. So yeah, I like that gloss slash balm really well. It's not sticky at all. Like, like even in the lead, I'm really liking the color too. So yeah, 10 out of 10, I am really liking that. All right, so yeah, that's it. This is the look using a full face of makeup that I've never tried before. It was really fun to just try out different products, but also kind of a little bit annoying in the liner situation that we have going here because that kind of like ruined the look. But besides that, I think that the look turned out really well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like below if you did. And please comment down below some video ideas because I'm going to try to start posting weekly, which is a big thing for me. If you've been watching my videos, you know they're definitely not posted weekly, but I'm going to try really hard to start posting weekly my goal is to post every Thursday or Friday so hopefully we can make that happen no promises but hopefully thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all have an amazing day bye